646, our weather authority alert day continues up until about 2 p.m. due to the chance for some stronger thunderstorms, especially in the eastern half of the area as we see this cold front passing through. And you see how that's initiating showers and thunderstorms so far this morning. Now, there's actually not a whole lot of lightning, but you do see some heavy rain in a frequently traveled area of the Roanoke Valley. So especially Cave Spring, that's up Electric Road heading into downtown. This is just to the south and the east of uh, exit 137 there in Salem. So more heavy rain out toward the west. Nothing severe with that, but as that cold front kind of hangs out and the air warms up, we see more storms forming along it. So here we are about another 10 to 15 minutes from now and that line mostly near into the north of the Roanoke Valley, but no severe weather warnings with it. After about 10 a.m., however, once we start to warm things up in Lynchburg and Southside, you see some of these stronger storms developing near into the east of Interstate 81. And even by 1 p.m., those of us east of the Roanoke Valley and south of Lynchburg stand the chance for some severe thunderstorms. And we've got this temperature boundary nearby that not only allows the air to rise more, but there's the potential for it to spin a little bit as well, mostly in Southside. So important to know that a watch means conditions are favorable for severe weather, but a warning means that severe weather either is happening or will happen in the next 30 to 60 minutes. So whether it's a watch or a warning, you'll get those alerts within seconds of them being issued by the National Weather Service by downloading our free weather app. So there's that front. It'll pass off toward the east after 2 p.m. That's why we're ending our weather authority alert day at that time. And then as we head into tomorrow, we'll turn much colder, breezy, and as we pull in that air out of the northwest, we start to see some snow really piling up on the western slopes. Even some scattered snow showers can't be ruled out in parts of the New River Valley and Highlands. But outside of Bland, Highland, Grayson County, accumulation is going to be really hard to get. It's just going to be a conversation starter because you guys were in the 70s just yesterday. The wind stays gusty really from today through Friday or through Saturday, pardon me, gusts of about 20 to 40 miles per hour. So for the New River Valley, your severe weather threat today is pretty much zero. You got rid of that first line of rain. Scattered showers may be a possibility later today and a rain snow mix in parts of the area tomorrow, though again, hardly any accumulation to talk about. Highs in the 40s. Afternoon temperatures, they'll rise into the weekend, even though Saturday and Sunday mornings start out below freezing in the NRV. We'll start to warm things back up by the early uh, chunk of next week. And for the Roanoke Valley, 67 today. We're back in the 50s, though, as we go through the next few days. So just when you thought you could get rid of the jackets, not so fast. It's still April. Lows in the 30s, highs in the 50s. Warming up, though, by Sunday and Monday. By the way, details on the solar eclipse, we've got them right now on WSLS.com.